Servus and hello. Welcome to the uh, weekly video that will occur or will happen in, on this channel. Every Friday I will kind of update you uh, on my journey so I can look back as well. Um, and I kind of will like show some products that I did, maybe some difficulties and if I have something more to say it will be in a video that will release in the week so you have at least one video a week the thing is with this episode it's kind of weirdly time we are like in a weird time thing because most of the uh, video that I filmed was yesterday for me but it will happen now or like in a couple of minutes for you I have already uh, received the filament uh, that will go on uh, the SV03 after the uh, bunker shell is done. <laughs> there was a whole shenanigan. Um, <clears throat> but essentially you will have one video per week or more um, with an update like what I did in the week, um, like how much I sold, what are new products, what are new products I'm working on. I will also make some product showcases like how can you use the products that I create um, or offer in my shop. I will try to get like a resin from Elegu so I can sell it here. Um, I'm allowed to do that because I um, wrote them an email and you have to buy like one unit which is like 108 uh, bottles of resin which is a lot and you have to, of course you have to buy it for the lower price and then you can sell it and make profit that way this is how selling stuff works and um, we, I don't ha I don't have the money or the room yet uh, I'm trying to get this because if I get the resin package from Elegu I can mix and match you can mix and match the colors or like get translucent black and gray which I will uh, do because I have translucent uh, black and gray products it will like reduce my cost for my printed parts which is always a good thing because I'm trying to sell you cheaper bases for your tabletop experience and in custom sizes as well because I think they are massively overpriced I think they do it with injection molding it's stupid cheap yet if you buy like 132 millimeter bases from Games Workshop and I know Games Workshop is expensive it's hella ex you get you pay like 10 euros more you will now see uh, me yesterday morning just woke up so I'm going to weigh an empty spool of my uh, usual white filament <clears throat> to um, gather the information if there is enough filament to print the ender bunker for that obviously you need a kitchen scale this is all the shit, but it works. And a running printer in the background, no, I'm joking. You need an empty spool. Where the fuck is it? The almost empty spool. Well, it's almost negligible. Like, look at this. It's like, I don't know, 30 grams? And yes, we are a metric. Okay, we got 237 grams, which I'm going to write down. And then if this print is finished, I'm going to do a cold pull and see um, what the difference is together if I have 300 grams or not I mean extra filament is already ordered and if I don't have the 300 grams I'm going to um, print things separately like print the ceiling or the walls I'm going to give you a quick peek uh, of the wonderful print here you can see the small baby working I mean, small, it's not that small, you know, this is my, I have a fairly big hand, and, you know, this is my hand. Um, I print both the walls and the roof in one go, and this is almost finished. And you gotta give it to them, um, Isan makes really good PLA. Uh, I'm using their PLA Plus in white, and this spool of filament set here in the basement which is like not very humid but not very dry either and 
it didn't suck any moisture in. At least I'm not hearing anything. Uh, and I have printed like five houses. So far the Sovol had better printing results than my Genius because it has better part... Uh, it cools its parts better or something. Anyway, I'm gonna head upstairs again. Because I, t I have to drink my morning coffee. So, my print is done. It's right here. Octagonal house. I will link this file in the video description. Uh, just did the cold pull. Looked very good. It's lost in the plastic trash. And looks like I don't have enough filament. I have 481 grams. 481 minus 237. That means 244 grams of filament. That means I have to print separately. But that's not a worry because if I would hit print on the big print, it would print for two days. Which is, you know, a bit long. But I'm gonna put it in the printer again and... yeah. I'm going to print the doors for the bunkers in resin. <clears throat> because it's uh, faster and I can print... Like, I can print it separately because I don't have two FDM printers. And I have one working resin printer and one not working. Because I managed to break the um, ball bearing. That's the word. Yes, I did that. And thanks to the spring festival that's going on in China, I'm not getting responses. So yeah. So it's just a trusty old mouse. And I will make a video explaining why this is the best resin 3D printer for beginners. But it just works. <laughs> Remember, when you are working with resin, always wear nitrile gloves, like these. You can actually reuse them, you know, if you wash them. Well, at least I do it. The SVO3 is going strong. I have decided to uh, kind of check the limits here by going with uh, um, the shell for the, uh, for the end. I'm printing the end door bunker now. And I'm... Like, I have 50 grams of filament left after this print, and I h hope it uh, will be enough. Purging line looks good, he's just starting. And this print will take one day, or like 25 hours. Which means tomorrow I will have half an endor bunker. But always use gloves and a mask. Uh, I can link you this one in the video description, and I think it is. I think it's linked. Goes behind your back, and then it kind of like goes over your mouth. Um, I will now put some gray resin. Oh. I will now put uh, the gray resin in the printer, and then do the doors for this bunker and also the other um, the other houses yes
So as you have seen, um, the, re the doors in resin looked quite nice, look quite nice. Um, I'm going to print the bunker doors now. I'm not gonna make a time-lapse video of it because as in the last time-lapse you cannot uh, see anything. Uh, it's not like I have a huge tall print and you can see it going up and down. It's just, just easy. The doors are curing right now. It only takes like three or five minutes for them because they are quite thin. Uh, because they are meant to be inserted uh, through a hole. Yeah, if the doors are done, I'm just uh, waiting for the bunker. And that's pretty much it for the Tatooine building project. And the bunker, which is a huge pro project. If you're interested in uh, tabletop things, <laughs> I do sell uh, the bases, the teeny tiny bases where you put the miniatures on. Uh, I sell them in my online shop and on eBay. Uh, I would prefer if you would visit my online shop, which is linked uh, in the description. I sell bases, uh, a diorama helper and um, a fly stand. I called it the fly plate because it's a plate that shows that min miniatures fly. I can actually ho show you. Come with me. Welcome to freehand filming uh, and me and my messy desk. But here you can see all the buildings I've printed. So there's a square one, a hexagonal one and an octagonal one. Printing these doors and trying to see if I can print another door that fits the other small building. And here's what I talked about. I'm kind of still working on the design, but it uh, takes advantage of the fact that clear resin can be sanded and sprayed with gloss varnish, then it looks clear. And I'm smartly using dovetails as a means of locking, which is kind of hard to do with one hand. But these slide together easily and come apart easily. You have these tiny black discs, also called bases, um, and diorama helpers. If I could get this, these are essentially just small little discs where you can, uh, where the hole is correctly sized for. Um, I have 25 millimeter base and 32. Um, so for character models, so that you can make a small diorama. I will also make one when I get to it <laughs> and show you how my product works and stuff. So that was pretty much it for the week. I got some orders uh, in, like which I obviously do not film, but I can tell you. Like, kind of surprisingly, the 100 mil bases got sold out for the first time. Like, um, in the in the eBay thing, eBay is like the German version of Craigslist. Um, I sell my bases and I also have a website, but eBay has more traffic. And I can only sell like 
nine products of like my I usually ten sell like ten thirty two millimeter bases at a time and I can only uh, put up uh, nine of those it will be like ninety um, but like on my website you can order custom uh, quantities um, I have also been experimenting with a rainbow filament. Uh, like these are the boxes uh, that I print for my uh, for my bases, so I can put them in here and they don't. Like I keep them in bags and it's not very organized, so I try to organize them with this. I will keep you updated with like cool prints from from my from the uh, Soul SVO3. Um, and I still have to make a review about it. I hope the time lapses were fine. I'm trying to figure out how to do them <laughs> with the best of my ability. I will link you the, um, the st in case you want to print the stormtroopers. I will link them uh, in the description. I thank you for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe and subscribe and leave a like. And see you until next time. I hope you don't have print failures and print something.